Do you play Garrus in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. What is Garrus's main factor when it comes to a character as a whole? What does Garrus want to do? That's right, we want to get as many time counters as we can as fast as possible. That way we can get a time stop move and just get free combos off, free damage, baby. That's Garrus's main gimmick. So how do we do that more often and more consistently? We gotta use cameos that allow us to do so. And one of my first choices in order to do that is Frost. Or you can exchange that for Sub-Zero, mainly for the fact that, of course, we can freeze our opponent in a combo, then get time encounter, and then continue the combo, or at least the pressure for that matter. Keep in mind, Frost is a full screen low freeze giving us the ability to get at least two time counters before our opponent is unfrozen, just really upping our game on getting time counters a lot faster. Another play that I just love doing with Frost as a cameo is throwing out her orb, doing my down back three with full counters. Now my opponent has to worry about me and the Frost Ball and they're frozen. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna get muffed up. That's what's gonna happen. And those same principles apply when using Sub-Zero as a cameo as well. We can either freeze our opponent and continue the combo from there, or we can use that freeze time to, of course, get a time counter and then go for the combo. You see how we were able to get a time counter and continue the combo before our opponent got out of freeze? We could use that time to simply just get a time counter basically for free. And that is huge when playing Garrus. If your opponent is trying to zone you out, of course, Cameo Sub-Zero's normal Cameo move makes you projectile invulnerable, giving you the time and the space to get your time counters out there as fast as possible without the fear of being zoned out. Big brain plays, baby. Another combination that I love to use is Garrus with Motaro, and the reason why, Motaro offers us with his bad cameo move the time and space to get our time counters out there, again, without the fear of being zoned out, because because our opponent's projectiles are gonna be, you know, reflected back at them, so they don't wanna zone you out, and you have the time to at least get one time counter out, which can be huge. Garrus is an absolute powerhouse, but he's a bit big and a bit slow, and because of that, Motaro's teleport really helps Garrus close in on your opponent and get that pressure that you want to have plus not only that garris we have a somewhat of a projectile with our down forward four and that's great and all but to have mataro's down cameo to offer us three projectiles for the sake of combo for the sake of projectile and for the sake of pressure is what mataro's out there we can just get time counters out our opponent's got to worry about mataro not us and you can at least get two time counters which again is just massive garris can already do a ton of damage and a ton of awesome combo potential so when it comes to picking the right cameo i prefer to pick a cameo that has utility over for combo extension because Garrus has already got a ton of that. For the same reasons as I love using Motaro, I also enjoy using Kung Lao with Garrus. I mean, we do get the awesome combo extension, of course. But also giving Garrus a really good, fast, low projectile is huge because we only have one form of a projectile and you got to control it. Whereas throwing this out with Kung Lao, either our opponent has to block it or jump over it. And that could give you the second you might need to get a time counter out there. And of course, for mobility, the teleport is just huge when playing Garrus. Gives you the option to really get in your opponent's face and just mess up their day, man. These are just my cameo recommendations for Garrus, guys. Let me know down below who would you pair Garrus up with and why. And don't forget to subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.